Hey, what is going on guys? Danny here. Hope you're all doing well. Just wanted to make this quick video surrounding a new leak of perhaps an upcoming RTX 30 series GPU. The source for this leak is Rogame, and this was posted on his site at Hardware Leaks. We've recently started seeing a considerable amount of leaks surrounding Nvidia's upcoming graphics cards for the mainstream slash gaming market. We recently saw a leaked picture of what was allegedly the reference RTX 3080, which had a really unique design that had two fans, one on each side. We also recently saw some leaks from two known hardware leakers on Twitter talking about three different GPUs based on GA102, which they are speculating to be the RTX 3080, 3080 Ti, or 3090, and the next Titan. What was interesting to me was that if Nvidia was going to be releasing these new GPUs right off the bat, like this coming fall, it does say a lot about how much they might actually be worried or concerned regarding AMD's big Navi GPU. It also has been quite a while since we've seen Nvidia decide they're going to be using the x80 card and it would be based off a high-end large chip GA102. Whereas for Turing and Pascal, they were using these mid-range dies. The 2080 was based on the TU-104 die and the 1080 was based on GP-104. We haven't seen Nvidia do this since the Kepler generation of GPUs. This is definitely going to be an interesting generation as Nvidia is doing some interesting stuff here if any of these leaks have any truth to them. Rogame did also state that he was able to confirm the existence of three GA102 variants that are being tested with different memory configurations. Now from hardware leaks, we got some even more leaks of what may be a time spy result of one of the upcoming Ampere GPUs. He does mention that from the result, it doesn't indicate which one of the GPUs is being tested. However, he says that the results speak for themselves. In regards to the log specs, the GPU has its memory clocked at 6000 MHz and has a reported core clock of 1935 MHz, which is what I'd say is on the lower end as TimeSpy does only report the boost clock. But keep in mind this could be an early engineering sample so clocks were conservative. When it came to the score, this GPU scored 18,000 257, which when compared to a stock Founders Edition 2080 Ti, it's about 31% faster and he also did include an AIB card as well, the MSI Lightning Z which is a very robust card which, with a very high end cooling solution that should allow for higher clock speeds due to the higher thermal headroom, thus leading to better performance, and comparing those configurations with each other, and there's a difference of around 21%. Now going on to 3D Mark's results database and filtering out results for a 2080 Ti, you can actually find quite a lot of results which are much higher than the ones shown on the graph here. Obviously, there are some extreme overclocking results which were achieved through the use of LN2, and the 2080 Ti's are running astronomical high clock speeds like 2500 MHz plus, so I won't even consider them as their outliers. But most 2080 Ti's, should be able to do around 2000 to 2100 MHz on stock or aftermarket cooling from the AIBs, and that should allow for a considerable boost in performance, allowing for a higher score. I mean, just take a look at those results. In this result, the 2080 Ti achieves a graphics score of 17,010, which isn't too far off from the leaked result of the Ampere GPU. The reported boost clock here was 2145 MHz, so you guys can gauge accordingly to what results you might be able to achieve depending on the overclock configuration here. So what does this leaked result say about the upcoming graphics card? Honestly, we still have a lot more information that we need to find out, but if this was an RTX 3080, then Ampere looks to be very promising, because now we're potentially looking at a generation that might bring about the same kinds of improvements we saw with Pascal, where the 1080 was quite a bit faster than the 980 Ti and the 1080 Ti was miles ahead of it. Remember, this GPU was running at a relatively low core clock of 1935 MHz and was still managing to beat highly overclocked 2080 Ti's with robust cooling solutions. 31% is quite a performance jump over the 2080 Ti, so if we're looking at a 3080 here, which isn't even the high-end GPU and isn't going to be priced astronomically high, I hope not, it should be priced around that $700 mark, then this does get me quite excited for Ampere and it could be an indication of a very promising architecture. However, let's not get too excited here because we still don't have confirmation on whether this was a 3080 and not say the 3080 Ti or 3090. Because if it was a 3080 Ti or 3090, then we're potentially looking at another disappointing leap in performance. Because then, 
what that would mean is that Nvidia's high-end flagship GPU, not including the Titan, as it is not even that much faster than the last-gen flagship. And we could be looking at a repeat of Turing, where only a 3080 Ti brings a performance jump, and the 3080 at best matches a 2080 Ti. Honestly, I doubt this will be the case though. I explained this on my last video as to why I believe these next generation of video cards will be a substantial leap in performance over the previous generation. Hopefully we start seeing more and more leaks come out surrounding these next gen graphics cards, and I'll be sure to keep you guys posted on information and continue to give my thoughts on them. I mean, what, we're pretty much all the way through June, we have July left, August, September, if we're looking for a September release, then yeah, we'll start seeing a lot more leaks come out and rumors surrounding these next-gen graphics cards, and honestly, I'll be following it very closely. I'm extremely excited by these next-generation cards and really intrigued by what both AMD and NVIDIA are doing, because this is going to be a very historical generation, in, in my opinion. If you guys found this video to be informative and entertaining, then hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts down below, check out the video description for ways to support the channel, and if you're interested in more content like this, then make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one.